Hi everyone! I wanted to make this devlog for a long time, but it's delayed like half a month because of my procrastination and few other reasons. Probably that I rewrote the script couple times didn't help. But here I am, with a new devlog, just for not the game you probably expected. Couple months ago I made a local multiplayer game called Stick Standoff, which I didn't particularly like at the end, but I liked the local multiplayer genre. So some time ago I thought, why not make such a game, but better. First, we need to change Unity's input system to a new one, to handle multiple controllers at the same time more easily. So if we connect multiple controllers at the same time to the computer, the new input system will exactly know which inputs are from which controller and then control exactly the character we need. Ok, I already showed you that the characters can walk, but they can also dash. And they can dash through objects. There is a fixed distance for a dash, obviously, and obviously, for some reasons, some objects can't be dashed through, like borders of the maps. At first I thought that everything could be done very easily, but there are some situations that we need to have in mind. We obviously can't let players dash outside of the map, so we need to check if such an object is in the path of the dash and place the character before that object. At the same time, if the object can be dashed through, we simply put the player after that object. The problem, however, starts when we have multiple objects that we can dash through, because if the distance of the dash is fixed, then the players can stack in the middle. The solution to that is to make dash infinite, kind of, in some situations. Normally the dash have its fixed distance, but in the situation when the character could get stuck in the middle, we simply extend the dash distance to the point when we can dash through, so to the nearest free space. With that change, we can surprise our other players with some unexpected appearance. But why would we even surprise any players? What is this game about? Well, it's the versus game, so every player fights to be the last man standing. So we need to allow players to kill other players. And I thought at first that I would give them katanas that you could throw, but then I changed my mind and I gave them some projectiles that they can shoot with. But the hook is that everyone has just one shot. So, if you miss, you might be screwed. However, there is something I should tell you, because you can reload. However, to reload, you need to collect a power orb that are scattered around the map. So, it's not simply just shooting around and hoping that someone will get hit. No, it's actually more about precision and strategy. If you miss, then you should make sure that you have any power orbs nearby to collect them and reload, because you are defenseless. However, again, um, there is a way to actually not be defenseless, because you can block. Every player can block, however, you can't shoot or dash and you are much slower when you are blocking, but everyone can do that. However. Until you become a walking armadillo, you need to know that the dash can stun. So even if you are blocking, you still can be dashed through and stunned. There is also a cool mechanic with blocking because it reflects projectiles. And it reflects them in that way that you can hurt the original player that shot it. Well, all that is of course just the core of the game, there were a lot more stuff to add, like maps, like effects, like lobby... Oh jeez. Man, solo death is hard. Why do I even do that? Couldn't I do something easier? Oh, you know, by the way, you, there is a Discord server if you're interested. Bye.